I would be talking about the, the bog garden at the garden center. Yeah. I was in bog at the county. But, um, yeah, and plus there's um, two or three large um, tallow trees that were left. I hate when they were mulching everything. I wish before they finished mulching that I could see. Mulch them up too because they're soft wood. And um, but and they had sprouted. So there's like you know 50 million little tallow tree sprouts. But those will be easy enough. We can go in with you know and just do a spray in there. But that was the reason for not. Going, going ahead and planting anything. We wanted to keep them in there to allow it to um, to allow the mulch to just uh, break down a little bit and to give us a chance to get rid of the, some of that stuff coming back up. Yeah, Say paper, like this printed in large print on 10 more pages, because that would take more trees. Thank you. I can read. Yeah, that's well, the minutes we did send her out uh, two months ago. Uh, actually, it might have been more than that. Yeah. It could have been more than that. Mm -hmm. It means October. So it's not exactly anything new at Agenda, of course, is the same thing that you've seen a little bit ago. We do a lot of stuff. Email this online. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do that too. You said you all live in Donna? 
about Treasury report? Okay, uh, Secretary, you want to cut anything to report? Um, yeah, that's you, Gary. Right, do you have anything you want to say as Secretary? Category, the spring. I think you guys do the form 
Some are concerned that, uh, of course, asking you can find out. Uh, Gary, have you also considered doing uh, what are they called? Public interest announcements through the TV, radio, newspapers. Nonprofits can usually do that kind of thing for basically nothing. Well, that's great. Any idea like that? Oh, no, not thought of. Survey idea is great. Yeah. So, uh, any idea that you build from that or make it I'm open to not like I can depend on that idea. Okay. And it sounded, it sounded like there's a, likely going to be a meeting of the membership committee probably after the food conference. Correct. Okay. Who's the chair of the membership committee? Ah, that would be Dave. So Dave, you got any thoughts of when or where you want to do that? No, uh, they'll let me know when they're ready. All righty then. We have more. Is there world travelers? I mean, national travelers that ready for all? Well, Gary's not going to be back by then, so some of it will have to be done uh, using telephone. You better get any more. Right. More thoughts on Gary's plan? Facebook um, is a great way to get, you know, information out of everybody just send it, share it on their page and so we have the present by the numbers. Whoever that is, I can't hear you. Social media is a cheap way to get information out and if everybody published the letter that Gary drafts or you, the committee drafts on their Facebook page. You know, that's you know two or three hundred friends each and there are times however many members do it so that's a big audience right there there's a possibility yeah. Yeah. oops Did you hit the wrong button here's a zip <laughs> but it's still on there Well, apparently, apparently, I held up Karen's phone by the power button. One more time. Where, where did we get cut off? Anyhow, I, I suggested perhaps use, utilizing uh, social media like Facebook and just posting to everybody's. Uh, Okay, Brett was suggesting using social media to post Gary's letter and a point or two to survey. Oh, no. 
everybody, huh? if, everybody, hey. if everybody's got 100 or 300 friends or something, that's you know a lot of coverage quickly and cheaply. He's just talking about sharing stuff, not paying for promotion. Paying for promotion is another idea. I personally like free stuff. I like free stuff. We can certainly start with the free stuff while Gary's looking into the other stuff. So as soon as we got the letter and the survey ready, we can start on uh, the free stuff, and Gary can continue looking into the other way of promoting. Okay. Uh, we do have uh, lists uh, gener uh, generated on the water trail site, contact lists with yeah. uh, email addresses. All those can be utilized as well. You hear that, Gary? Well, these are mostly already on the Google site, so yeah. Okay, let's say we move along to the next item and the membership committee will follow up on this. Okay. Uh, other events. Other events. Can we set the next Walls board meeting? I penciled in the 8th of April because it's three months from now. What do you think? What day is that? Do you know? Wednesday. Okay. Second Wednesday. Hey, it's on the agenda, Terry. It's on the agenda. Later, they went down and, and actually found the, uh, the sink on the riverbed itself, which was a little bit further upstream than where we were. And I actually took uh, Pat Atwater 
a couple weeks after that um, down to try to see it, and uh, the water had already started to come up and it had obscured it, but I think we found it nonetheless based on the picture you posted and where the trees were in relation to the picture. But uh, that obviously needs to be seen at very, very low water levels. And then um, in November, we took a trip to something that's not technically um, on one of the rivers, the Okinoki Swamp, but uh, it's the headwaters of the uh, Suwannee River, and uh, it's an interesting feature with, within our region. So we had uh, a good number of people show up for that, and we had some good time, uh, despite the uh, kind of gloomy weather, which was actually appropriate for the swamp. In December on the 20th, we had a cleanup on the Alapa River right at the Highway 82 Bridge, and it was called something. This location day is the uh, some local name which escapes me. But uh, we cleaned up uh, many bags of trash and we had some local folks join us at the end and, uh, and uh, made a mark with the start of the potential start of the trail. But coming up, oh, and then, um, I'm sorry, scratch that. That cleanup was back earlier in the year. The cleanup in December was down in Jasper at the Hamilton County that uh, Chris and Deanna had arranged. Mm -hmm. um, and that was impressive because the river was completely dry for much of the uh, riverbed. We picked up, uh, as a private public partnership, we were picking up on public land along a private, um, private farm. Had huge bluffs that were quite impressive. Spotted some um, invasive species. Um, Mark with the eradicated Japanese climbing fern. Uh, everyone seemed to have a good, good time. And the landowners took us to their house and fed us lunch, which was nice. Coming up on January 17th, we have this Saturday a paddle um, on the Lapal River. We're going to put in at the 82 bridge and paddle down to somewhere near Rotown Church, which is approximately 6.5 miles. The river is up. Um, I expect it to be a fast paddle. Um, being up is probably good because that tends to make the deadfalls um, less frequent, although equally dangerous because of the water going fast. But you can't run into the deadfall. So I would like to restrict this outing to only people that are fairly experienced because the water is cold now. We don't want novices um, going in the water and deadfalls. Uh, I've already heard back from about four or five people who are interested going. We're going to wait and call call it on Friday. Houston, water level gets up too high. Um, but uh, as long as it's within the banks, I'd be inclined to, to go. Unless anybody object. <coughs> Heather is skeptical. She so might want to talk to her before okay. I call it. And just in case the backup location is? It's a raised mill pond in Ray City. All right. You haven't gotten the big event yet. Oh, how are you going to get the word out on that, Fred? Well, everybody um, who um, indicated they were going, I think I've got their phone number for their Facebook page, so I can send a message out for one of those videos. And the date for the third annual Big Little River Paddle event is on the agenda. It should be 16 May, which is Saturday. And, uh, I went to the uh, Friends of Reed Bingham State Park uh, board meeting uh, back in January and uh, confirmed that date with them. They, we were originally thinking of doing it around Father's Day, but it turns out that Father's Day weekend is the start of paddle across Georgia, so we didn't think that was a good, good event to um, conflict with. And uh, pushing off into September was the other option, and I know there's a big race in the Swanee River, typically in the fall sometime, we didn't want to conflict with that. If people are back in school in September, things are kind of busy, so 
Uh, May 16th is, is probably before some of the local schools get out, but it'd be the last, probably the last week of the year. So hopefully they won't be too busy and off on the vacations yet. And, uh, hopefully, because they we're push, pushing it back from March to April to May, we won't have a problem with bad weather and, and high water like they have in the last few years. Sounds good to me. I would like to do it again this year because I think the bank account's still pretty low. But thank you for thinking about that, Gary. So can you make a note that Brett wants to continue doing that this year, but next year we need to raise enough money to have Walls help? Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 Yeah, I'm not sure.